الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحب في الله it's very important for us to have a, an understanding of some of the differences between Islam and the Islamic concept of jihad and what groups like Daesh or ISIL and all these terrorist organizations that they are far and free from Islam and <clears throat> when we make those claims we have to be able to distinguish between the two so just in a very brief way we'll mention and try to be as quick as possible so that way we have a better understanding of the differences between the two Islam legislates fighting under certain conditions and that is something in common that Islam shares in common with the other faiths the other faiths especially being Judaism and Christian and the Christian faith and as most even philosophies and ideologies they have a concept of what is called just war and just war theory refers to those when it's permissible and who it's permissible to fight against that there are times when it becomes necessary for physical uh, physical combat if you will in order to subdue an enemy or protect one's uh, country or protect one's kingdom or protect one's uh, place uh, uh, so on and so forth something we need to distinguish between Ahl Sunnah their concept which is the Islamic concept is that Islam uh, Islamic Jihad or fighting is at time offensive and at time a defensive uh, concept offensive meaning that it requires a leader okay and uh, it requires uh, parents permission as the Prophet ﷺ mentioned and also it re requires that there is a qudra that there is the ability to uh, the ability and the possibility that you can win not just uh, just fighting for the sake of fighting and this all falls under the Muslim ruler and this falls under either the rules the the main body of the leaders meaning if there was a Islamic Khalifa that was a ruler for all the Muslims which we do not have and we have not had since the fall of the Ottoman Turks, the Ottoman Empire, and and or the uh, of a particular country, for example, the various countries like Saudi Arabia, Yemen, whatever country you want to mention, that's a Muslim country. That if the leader of that country calls for uh, for jihad, then the people of that country those rulings would apply to them. They would not apply to the rest of the Muslim world as they are not the leaders for the Muslim world. So this is one way in which Islam, the Islamic concept, the Salafi concept, differs from these takfiri, jihadi extremists like Abu Bakr, uh, Baghdadi and other uh, cursed uh, individuals. Uh, another way and uh, the jihad also is comprised of defensive and defensive also has its conditions which are mentioned in the fit book and these are actually very large issues that I prefer not to talk about but be because of the situation that we're faced when we have constant uh, unfortunate incidences and terrorist attacks which destroy the Islamic Dawa cause fear uh, in the societies in which we reside in and spread terror to uh, the various communities and various nations that it becomes necessary to speak about these issues to the extent of our ability uh, and so there's also the concept of defensive jihad jihad also to Ahl Sunnah to the Islamic community also comprises of other categories of jihad. Jihad meaning jihad of seeking religious knowledge, jihad of self-reforming, the jihad of nafs, reforming oneself, fighting off sin, 
uh, removing oneself from sinfulness, uh, also refuting Ahl al-Bidah and Zandaka, also refuting false ideologies and refuting deviance uh, in the within and outside of the religion of Islam. And for example, Ahl al-Sunnah spending time talking about groups like uh, ISIS, renouncing them, denouncing them, refuting them, uh, trying to uh, undermine their evil and uh, and reform the youth by giving the youth the correct dawah, that dawah to Ahl Sunnah and the dawah to Islam, the beauty of Islam, that these are a type of jihad as well. So refuting Ahl Bidah and refuting the other groups, the other deviant groups, those who have extremism uh, with as far as their acts of worship, that they worship the graves, they worship the dead, they supplicate to the, to the dead, they say Allah is everywhere, they have deviant ideologies and things which are false and away from Islam, that that is also by refuting them, this is a type of jihad. So those are the from the concepts of the Muslims. The Takfiri groups, however, groups like Daesh, one of the things is they believe that Muslims are always to be in a... They use ahadith, the message of Allah to try to substantiate their belief and to and say that Islam is always in a state of fighting. That we must always fight. And for them, there is no concept of peace, no concept of treaties, no distinguishing, distinguishing about the different categories of, of human beings as is articulated by the Sharia in the early Muslim jurist and instead for them everyone it's either Darul Harb or it is their country, their supposed Khalifat. So for them that makes it legitimate to attack, destroy and kill everyone because as long as they are not a part of their Hizb, their Hizbiya group, their group, uh, uh, their partisanship and have joined their party of uh, of devils, then they are a legitimate target. Uh, also for them, which distinguishes from Islam, is that for them they take these almost communistic uh, approaches and anarchistic, uh, as the anarchists, especially in the early 1800s and, and so forth, in America and other European uh, nations of the means justify or the the ends justify the means meaning if you have a supposed good end uh, that you're striving for that the means whatever means you